All right, so yesterday's video, I had like Pikachu's power data and I kind of remember that I didn't actually ever do a video on it because I didn't think it was that good. But considering the lack of content at the moment, I might as well crack one out. It's going to be a pretty quick one, but it just goes to show some numbers. So this was Jebel Hafeet in 2020. It got like stopped pretty early. Adam Yates will view it. They went up Jebel Hafeet twice. First one, 5.8. Second one, 6. Normalized 415, so maybe like 6.2. Not that mental. Now they do it like 6.5 because... Uh, I don't know, Rona got everyone like gaining like 0.3 or what's per kilo or whatever. Um, but anyway, we'll go through some of his training. So in Mar Monaco, uh, sorry, in March, he was in Monaco. You know, it's just some five hours with tempos on the climb. Then he came back, I guess 300 watts, not even tempo. It's kind of more like zone two. If your threshold's over 400, it's zone two. And his threshold probably is over 400, probably like 430 ish, I would hazard a guess. Um, so you can see it is April, obviously there's lockdowns and all the rest in 2020, but he was in Slovenia. In Slovenia, he could ride because they realized that banning people from riding was stupid. Um, and anyway, he's cracking out 392 for half an hour. So like six watts per kilo-ish, so not, no, not too shabby. Um, and then again, you can see it did 416 watts for 15 minutes and then 420, so that's like 6.3-ish. So pretty strong efforts. But again, they're kind of like rogue. They're not like intervals per se. They're more just like kind of just on the vibes and i reckon maybe in april with racing not anytime soon they probably were like that cracked out 7.3 for six which is pretty strong as well um and yeah like did some endurance rides and you might say charlie okay like why are there no other rides it's because he doesn't upload every day or he, he like uploads randomly um maybe it's trying to because he's trying to see if he gets comms i don't know but anyway you can see most of his rides are really hard and that's i think because he probably wants to see if it got calm again like six plus beginning for half an hour um, he does quite like his 15 minute efforts. You'll see quite a lot. Um, <clears throat> and one of these was done after like three and a half thousand kilojoules. So that's pretty interesting as well. Um, like 415, um, again, is like 6.2, 6.3 for 15 minutes after three and a half thousand kilojoules is strong. Um, again, you can see here some 15 minute efforts. So it does some nice tempo. And then again, after 3,800 kilojoules, cracks out 415. So I reckon that's probably what he's trying to do. Like in his training is sort of like, accumulate fatigue and then crack out the 15 minutes at 6.3 and you might say okay 15 minutes is not that long it's like yeah but if you can sort of do 15 in training like you know in a race you'll be able to do more but obviously if you just cracked him and said oh you you know 415 for 40 minutes after that it'd probably be too hard mentally so it's kind of better just to do 15 minutes and then the body's like oh yeah we know how to do power at the end of a race um end of kilojoules Again, you can see here, three and a half hours at 17 minutes at 413. Um, so again, steady ride on the 14th and then probably like a rest day in some efforts. Again, 45 minutes at 320 watts, that's tempo. And you can see some more stuff. Again, what does he do? 15 minutes at 416 watts. So again, it's just the, the constant t turning up the old uh, the, the kilojoules and then doing the 15 minutes. Again, here's some interesting sprint data. Five seconds, <clears throat> not unreal. Uh, max 1200. I reckon he can crack out more than that. Like, I reckon 13, 1400 maybe, but just doesn't get tired. Again, what do we see? After 3,100 kilojoules, he cracks out 416 for 15. So, again, going to show that it's pretty important. Um, into June, so maybe there was some racing. So, you know, there was like Slovenia Nationals where like people paid to watch on TV. It's kind of wild. Um, again, what does he do? 15 minutes and then 423 for 15 is actually pretty strong. Again, you can see 400 for 15 again. So, pretty strong. Um, he does a national, so there's some sort of crit, but I couldn't really see anything about it. Um, and I think on the hill climb, uh, on the on the power for the ra the road race, it wasn't that strong. Again, you can see road bike, that's 414 watts for 25 minutes, and then he also changed to a TT bike. So kind of like six watts per kilo for like half an hour, 40 minutes, I reckon, on the TT. Um, then in July, we've got some numbers as well. So here, five hours easy with some efforts. 400 watts for 15, what a surprise. You wouldn't have guessed he cracks that out. And then again, you can see zone two does five, 50 minutes at 390, two hours later, 50 minutes at 405, and then easy climbs 50 minutes at 421. His hours are not mental. I seem to remember seeing no six or seven hour rides, mainly just five hour rides. Okay, there were some six hours, literally one right there, but it didn't seem like mental, mental hours compared to like Froome, who I've gone through before, um, whose climb was like doing 30 to 35 consistently all year round. Um, but yeah, anyway, I do hope you find these videos interesting. Um, I might do burnout recently. As they just take a lot of time, so it's kind of only worth it if people actually value it. Otherwise, you know, I saw like half an hour, forty minutes of uh, research for the vid. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one.